For Scotland to be in the single market and for England to not be part of it would be politically very difficult indeed and legally challenging. The single market is about business regulation. If Scotland was to stay in the single market when Britain is outside the EU and leaving the single market, Scotland would need to have follow entirely the EU's sets of business regulations and would therefore have different business regulations from England. And that would therefore require the devolution of all powers over business regulation from Britain to the devolved assemblies, including Scotland, which I don't think is probably on the cards. But if the SNP, and this may be very difficult given what Downing Street said today, but if they were able to persuade the Westminster government to allow that kind of devolution, would there still be problems for countries in the EU? The real problem with uh, the Scottish government's proposals are political rather than legal and technical. The legal and technical ones could perhaps be overcome, but the difficulty is not only Mrs May's likely opposition, but also what the EU countries would think, because quite a lot of EU countries would not want one region of any member state or any ex-member state to have a special sweetheart deal. The Spanish in particular are reluctant to encourage the Catalans or the Basques to have their own uh, special deals within Spain. Any set of arrangements that raise the hopes of regionalists within existing member states would be uh, alarming to them.